This is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Phillippe, and my guest today is Wendy Thompson. Wendy is a very talented artist, and she's been on the show a number of times, so I'm really glad to have you back to see what's, mm. what's new. Thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah. yeah. And um, you're on the mm. Art Harvest Studio Tour this year? Yeah, this is my seventh year during the tour, and uh, it's the second year in the, my, the, my new little place where I am, am now, uh, on Southeast Baker. Okay. And... Uh, have uh, um, a lot of the, I still have my tile and uh, cards and calendars and pendants and jewelry and originals and prints and cards, lots of stuff to show. So, um, so, yeah. so what's, um, I mean, I know some of your work from the past, but what's, are you doing anything that's new? Do you have anything f going on in particular? Um, one of the nice things that just happened a, a, a month or two ago was uh, there's a, a new online uh, international pencil group, uh, mm -hmm. the Pencil Art Society, and uh, um, they asked for submittals to be uh, 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 accepted for or juried in for master pencil artist status. And uh, I was uh, uh, one of four. I thought there'd be a whole bunch. But I was one of four who was uh, granted the, the status. And there's one lady from Germany, uh, Australia, California, and me in Oregon. Wow. So, well, that doesn't yeah, surprise yeah. me at all because I, what you do is exquisite. It's just well, thank amazing. You. Thank you. Really nice. Yeah. That's quite an honor. Yeah, and there's an online show that uh, I submitted three pieces, and two pieces were juried in for that. It's an international show. 60 uh, pieces and only 40 artists. So. And is it all um, online? It's online, uh, the oh. Pencil Art Society. Uh, okay. I, I know we're not supposed to do .com, mm -hmm. but Pencil Art Society, you can Google it and find them. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. a really good idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I uh, um, have a, uh, last March I, I had a gal redo my, my whole website and everything, so I have a brand new website and uh, connections to an online uh, shop where I do a lot of my sales. Mm -hmm. In fact, this morning I mailed a, a calendar off to uh, the uh, Jersey Islands, in, uh, Channel Islands in the UK, and really? uh, Ontario, Canada and Brookings, Oregon. So. <laughs> wow, isn't that funny? Where yeah. people come from, it's, you know, it is yeah. it's so international, so global. Yeah, and they, they go to my on, the online uh, Etsy shop that I have. And, oh, okay. And uh, I send calendars and stuff all over. So That is really yeah. incredible, Wendy. Yeah. Um, and I know that you said that you've got, um, you're also your two, 2014 calendars out? I have two calendars this year. I've been doing a lot of ravens. Uh, I, I'm just fascinated by the ravens and, and uh, the corvid. So this one's called Corvid Calendar because uh, there's two crows kind of snuck in. And, and um, the other calendar, I call it uh, The Color of Nature. Okay. And it's a kind of a collection of um, over the past 16 years, uh, different color pieces that I have. And, and then uh, there's uh, two or three new pieces on it also. Well, I know that you brought some work today, so maybe we can uh, see some of the slides that you brought. Um, the, there's one called Brambleberry. Um, this one, that's uh, the, on the cover of uh, the calendar I call Color of Nature. Um, that's kind of the work that I'm going to be doing now. It's, it's beautiful. <clears throat> it's a watercolor base, mm -hmm. and then uh, I use uh, water-soluble uh, uh, pencils, and uh, the Derwent is the company that I use. Uh, they're nice, bold colors. And then um, I, I haven't learned how to use uh, watercolor brushes with only two or three hairs in them yet, so so I still get out the rapidographs and the and, and my pencils to finish the the detail. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one of the pieces that's in the calendar from a few years ago that I made. And and uh, I've kind of been for years. Uh, uh, I, well, I've done colored pencil since 1997, and. Uh, I, the water-soluble pencils, I would get to a certain point, and as soon as I picked up the brush to put water, I always felt like I was painting, and I could never get beyond that point. And uh, I didn't realize how much of a pencil artist I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, with, with my hands and, and uh, the arthritis, I'm, I'm being forced to go into... Uh, Oh, that's that's uh, another one of my new pieces. Is the daffodils? It's in the the calendar. It's uh, that one's uh, like I think ninety percent watercolor. 
That's beautiful. And uh, once again, I and the delphiniums. That's new. Um, well, and, and you know, right. it's true that with you know the the pencil itself, that's so tough on your hands. Mm -hmm. You have to. If you're so talented. You can do anything. So you have to figure out a way that you can get get those fabulous images out that doesn't actually just do you in, right? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot <laughs> kind, kind, kinder and gentler on mm -hmm. my hands. And and actually, it's it's kind of interesting. I, I'm uh, uh, the, a few days ago, I, uh, a week or so, I said something about uh, a barrier, and uh, it's not a barrier. It's a hurdle. I just need to learn how mm -hmm. to get over that. And and uh, do the work. Um, this one is the 100% colored pencil, and that's kind of what did the problems with my hands is just and there's there's no water solubles or solvents in in uh, the eye of nasturtium mm -hmm. and uh, it's just all with the tip of the pencil over you know and a lot of pressure and and uh, but that's one uh, that one and the the uh, one showing now is the uh, uh, feather light those are the two that were juried into the international oh, show oh okay and uh, yeah they were probably just blown away when they saw your work yeah. just Oh, I can't believe it. It's just so incredible. It was a real compliment. One of the co-founders who lives in Ontario, Canada, uh, contacted me uh, uh, online and uh, purchased one of my new pieces that's in my Raven calendar. And nice. uh, I'm going to send it to her after the, the harvest tour is over. Mm -hmm. But uh, for, for someone, you know, one of the co-founders of this group that uh, is the honored me with the master pencil status. She liked my work enough to buy it. That was pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah. And this piece is, all the, um, is also in, uh, I call that one uh, New Passage, that's a colored pencil with gold leaf. Uh, and that was oh. in a, um, it's in a co colored pencil society online um, exhibition where it can have a certain percentage of something else besides colored okay. pencil. And so that's online too. And so do you call that mixed media? Mixed media, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, that's a, an example of the the uh, calendar that I have. And and uh, I sell those. Uh, you can go to my website and and uh, find where to where to buy them. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I usually have them locally. Uh, right after the tour, I had there's two or three shops in town that that I sell my calendars at. Mm -hmm. And here we have. That's the cover of my. Uh, uh, Raven calendar in Corvids, and that one is called uh, Keys to the Cash. And uh, I kind of explain that my my ravens don't um, they don't steal pocket watches. They save time. Oh. And uh, they uh, they don't steal the moon. They t they're taking it back. And, I like and, it. And uh, they're 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 not spooky yucky uh, bad omen guys. And, mm -hmm. and uh, they're super smart, intelligent. Oh, the three little guys there, that is so sweet. And, and uh, you can kind of show your roots uh, um, for how local you are. That's called Phil, Bert, and Hazel. Okay. And uh, they're contemplating the, the Philberts. I as, like it, Phil, Bert, and Hazel. <laughs> Great. And, uh, yeah. And then I have uh, the, uh, had a little fun with words. There's Ravenalis Digitalis. <laughs> and uh, morning glorious, and uh, and the uh, uh, little peanut guys, and a uh, little crow with the peanuts. Those are really amazing. I mean, they yeah. look just. Yeah. It's it's hard to believe that somebody can actually do that. You know that yeah. with a pencil, <laughs> yeah. it's just amazing to me that uh, how talented you are. Well, thank and I know you. there's a show right now at the Chehalem Cultural Center? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, James Nelson is uh, the new coordinator for the tour mm -hmm. this year, and he's just done an amazing job. And it wasn't until, I, I've known him kind of off and on for a while. It was interesting. Uh, we learned, uh, uh, I think it was in 04, 05, I ran into him at Evergreen. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave me my very first ribbon in, my, in, in the state colored pencil show in 1998. Really? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I have uh, um, four uh, graphite and uh, color pieces in the show, and then one small colored piece. And also off to the side, I haven't been there yet. I, I was hoping to go, uh, uh, but, you know, before Friday. Um, there's a, I, I borrowed back a large original that uh, a lady owned and owns, and uh, it's one of my egrets. And there's the, the large original, and then there's uh, a print cards, and uh, pendant, uh, a magnet, and a uh, tile coaster to show all of the different things oh, there that can. I do with my work to mm -hmm. present it for sale in different ways. Sure. And uh, so I have uh, a lot of my artwork on tile and cards, calendars, and 
as a lot of people can't afford an original mm -hmm. or uh, even prints. You know, mm -hmm. So I have a lot of different ways that I offer my work. And you know, the show at the Cultural Center is really well done, of course, because mm -hmm. James is a genius with that He's sort of amazing. thing. He's amazing. He yes. really can curate and hang, yes. and he just has, he has an eye, yeah. he has a flair. <laughs> but uh, yeah. your, your piece, your sort of tableau is, is particularly nice. Oh, good. Thank yeah, you. I, really yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I've been mm -hmm. told that it's a nice display. And it I is really nice. to make a, a purpose to yeah. see it. And that's a beautiful space. Yeah. Um, I, uh, there, there was another piece that, that was uh, the, of art that I brought in. Um, it's called The Old Man Vine. Um, the Cultural Center asked for, um, uh, it was like an invitational thing for a 12 by 12 for a silent auction oh, that they okay. had. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I did, a, I was out picking blackberries and here's all these vines everywhere, you know, the wild cucumber. Mm -hmm. And just such a beautiful pod and everything. So I did like a real botanical style piece for that and, uh, and it sold for the, in the auction to raise money for their classes and stuff. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, you know, your botanical stuff is always so beautiful. I remember the, the, the whole botanical book that you did. You, you know the one I'm talking about, the, the botanical book you did with your cousin? Oh, well, that was kind of kind of botanical. That was that was more the kaleidoscope book. Kaleidoscope, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, um, um, the little day to, day tours and trips mm -hmm. that you can take throughout. Uh, but the you watershed. had a lot of interesting illustrations yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a few pieces I did special for that. You know, some of the wildflowers and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So. And that book is still around, I think. Um, I sell it occasionally. I'm almost all sold out, but Are I you? think I, I have no idea how many my cousin Laura has. Laura McMasters. Mm -hmm. I think she sells them at the the bookshop on Third and uh, that's where the, I've seen the them. feed the feed store. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I, I um, sold quite a few of them during all the the summer shows that I art fairs that I would do. But mm -hmm. I'm no longer doing the the uh, the summer uh, art circuit. So, you know, that's a lot of work. I, being on my own, I just, uh, I, it, it's physically taxing mm -hmm. and um, I'm just uh, finding other venues to present my work and, and uh, so a lot of online sales in different shops and um, I just got contacted by a, a, a shop in uh, uh, Alaska that wants to carry my calendars and my and my Perfect. Uh, ravens and stuff. And, well, I was going to say ravens. Yeah, that's very yeah. Alaska. Land of the ravens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm working out a wholesale thing, and, and then Birds Unlimited in Eugene. Um, okay. I'll be doing their art walk for November, and uh, um, also they'll be carrying my my products there too. Okay. And uh, then. So it's kind of like the work smarter, not harder, right? Uh, yeah, 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 I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Rather than and, killing um, yourself loading the, loading the car yeah. and schlepping out to the hot art fair someplace in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. and having to set up and everything, it's, it's like it's all there, yeah, so, yeah. okay. And, uh, you know, as you, you get older, you have to learn how to do things easier and, and uh, it makes it more fun, too. So, yeah, yeah, it makes it more fun when you're not in pain. Mm -hmm. Well, Wendy, mm -hmm. it, it looks like you're taking your art in a really sort of fabulous and interesting new direction. Oh, thank you. For sure. Yeah. So yeah, um, I'll wish you a lot yeah. of success with the rest of your tour. Thank you. And yeah. definitely congratulations on, on your mm -hmm. awards. Well, thank you. Yeah. So you'll have to come back and, and see us anytime. Okay. I will do that. Oh, it's always a pleasure to catch up with you. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to see you again, too. Thank you.